Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today we're going to jailbreak our Apple TV 2. Now you may already have an Apple TV 2 that's jailbroken, maybe on an early version like 5.0 or 5.2, and you want to upgrade your iOS firmware to 5.3 to get Bluetooth compatibility, keyboard compatibility, and iTunes in the cloud. Or maybe you want a fresh install of XBMC Gotham or something like that. Or this is your first time jailbreaking an Apple TV. In this video, I'll be showing you how to back up older jailbreaks and what to download and how to jailbreak version 5.3 or iOS 6.1.4 using the latest season pass. This isn't the latest Apple TV firmware. There's uh, younger versions like 6.0, 6.0.1, or 6.0.2. But in this video, and according to season pass, it's the only software firmware that you can jailbreak is 5.3, which adds support for HBO Go, ESPN, Sky, News, Quello, and Crunchyroll. And it, you know, it fixes the iTunes store. There are later versions that are not supported by this jailbreak, which gives you a lot more features. But I think if you just want to jump over to getting your Bluetooth keyboard working, then this video is for you. For some convenience, I connected my Apple TV to my Motorola Atrix laptop, and I have my MacBook Pro, and I also have the cable that came with the Chromecast that I'm going to plug into the back of the Apple TV, and then I'm going to plug it into the computer. There is the connection that I made to the Motorola Atrix laptop. Right, old man? Okay, so all kidding aside, we're going to need to download the latest version of Season Pass for Mac. And uh, you have it here for Windows as well. But before we do that, let me tell you that you should be backing up your firmware signatures. That's saving your SHSH. Um, and there's three ways to do it. And then this way you can download to a younger firmware at any time if you have the saved because Apple will stop signing for it. So three versions, three ways to do it. If you're on your Apple TV, uh, you just go down and go into maintenance and then pretty much you can manage backups. This is uh, flash black. So we can do it that way or you can do it with season pass. Uh, all you do is pretty much right mouse button and uh, you can save your firmware signatures. You can also download Tiny Umbrella and you can also save your SHSH that way and that's sort of important to do in case something goes wrong or you just want to go back to an earlier version. So let's now go over and download for Mac. That's what I'm using. I'm using a MacBook Pro. So we're going to download that and basically when it's finished downloading we're going to open it up. So let's open it up um, we, it unzips and it leaves you with season pass. You hit open and you check automatically. We're going to put in our password for our computer and we're going to enable that. All right, so let's close everything else out and let's now disconnect our power and our HDMI and let's connect in our micro USB to the back. Just like that and then the other end goes into the Mac or Windows computer now that we have our Apple TV connected to our USB iTunes may open and tell you that your Apple TV is in recovery mode just quit out of right mouse button here and do the 5.3 and now it will download and this is going to take a long time so I'm going to speed up the video here and there just to get it going faster. So now we're just going to hit both of these menu and play pause button at the same time for about nine seconds.
So after it's done jailbreaking, connect it back to the TV. Welcome to Apple TV. To use voiceover with your Apple TV, press the small button located on the lower right of your remote three times. Okay, now that you got your Apple TV 2 jailbroken, you'll see the fire core symbol there. So now we're just going to go and install ATV Flash Black. So if you have to go into General, and you have to go into About, and you have to take note of your IP address. You have to pay for ATV Flash Black. I already downloaded it on a Windows computer, so that's why I'm using this Windows computer. But everything's over Wi-Fi. So for Windows or Mac, just put in your IP address that you found on your Apple TV, and it should just automatically install. Okay, now you see the FireCore icon is gone, and you have a maintenance settings, and you also have settings. Uh, that are for the Apple TV. So now you just go into maintenance and here you can install a whole bunch of add-ons and things like XBMC or uh, you can install Last.fm, Infuse, Couch Surfer and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.